YouTubers. Welcome back to AZ to Ozarks. Today I want to do an unboxing or rather unbagging video for orders that you get from Burgess. I believe their website is eburgess.com. I am not sponsored by them. They did not pay for this video or my order. I just feel like after talking to other people, there may be some confusion when you're ordering from Burgess online. And I know that I personally was, um, I don't know if confused is the right word or if I was just a little disappointed with my expectations of what and when I would receive and when it actually happened. So I will tell you that I ordered from Burgess um, my trees because I want to plant an orchard. Right now we're sitting in front of the greenhouse, but my orchard will be approximately that direction in the yard. And I wanted to have a variety of fruit trees, some nut trees, an olive tree, as well as I was ordering from them some strawberries, not some strawberries. I was ordering 25 plants of strawberries and it is now May. I placed my order on March 23rd and you place your order, you pay for your order and then nothing. So I received one email. It was a confirmation email immediately saying, your purchase has gone through. And it does say to allow about three weeks for processing. And that I was comfortable with. Um, time went by and no correspondence at all from the company. To this day, still no correspondence, even since this has arrived. And what happened, I called this week because I was wondering where everything was. We're getting close to the end of May and I wanted to know if there was any information on when my order would be shipping or arriving. The gentleman essentially told me, no, there is no information on when your order will be shipping or arriving. He said that they do send an email with a tracking number once they ship your order. I didn't receive that email. But he said that a couple of the items I had ordered are grown in the greenhouse. And those, so I'm assuming that means they start them in the greenhouse once you place your order. And he said they can take six to eight weeks in the greenhouse. Additionally, he said like many seed companies and plant companies are currently under a backlog due to COVID, there's been an increased demand and so he said that they are behind um so they he he couldn't give me any information he just basically said we're behind you ordered some things that take a while to grow and we'll send you a tracking number much to my surprise yesterday this sack arrived and fedex delivered it despite it saying um usps tracking number but i didn't get the email and um, yesterday was May 22nd. So it was almost two months later and here it is. So it's just a, a sack and I had guessed that that's what was in it. Um, you've got a little stick poking out here and there were some sticks poking out in the top. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it doesn't look like much information other than on this label here, it has a list of my ordered items and it has checks next to almost all of them. So I'm assuming that's what's in here. I don't know. We're going to find out. It's saying that my plum and something coal listed below are not marked off. So I don't know. I did buy two apple trees locally to, um, because Burgess didn't have the varieties I wanted. But let's see what we've got here. Let's see how it's labeled. Oh, so we've got bare root. This is my five and one plum. So it's definitely coming as a bare root. And that's not my favorite way to get things. And that's the other thing. On their website, it didn't say that they were bare root or potted. Um, 
It's better when they're potted. So this is kind of dormant and I need to get this planted or in water very quickly. So there's my five in one plum and it does look like uh, there's some growth on it starting. The other one that was attached to it, this is interesting. It says this is two pussy willow plants. I did not order these. We'll have to see what that's all about. Here's another bare root. And this is my five in one peach. And so if you're not familiar with what that means is it's a grafted tree. So it has a rootstock of a sturdy tree and then it has five different varieties grafted onto it. I don't know how that works on this because I expected it to have five different branches of five different types of peaches. So really, I don't know how this works. My understanding was it was going to be five separate branches of the tree with different types of fruit. The reason I did that is so that I will have fruit all through the season. I'll have early all the way through late peaches uh, ripening at different times of the year. This one is a Bartlett pear. That's a pretty standard pear. This is the Shinseki Asian pear. And I love Asian pears, so I definitely wanted to get one of those. You know, they're shaped like an apple and they're super crisp, but they kind of have that pear flavor. This is a Manchurian apricot. Okay, what is this? I'm guessing this is the tree I got for my son to be a bonsai. No, it's not. This is a Norway spruce. So I'm not sure if you can see it in there. It's an evergreen. I really want to have a tree that's like a Christmas tree growing outside our front window and so we could decorate it and have it near the house. So that's why I ordered this little guy. That's not part of the orchard, but it'll be in the orchard area. This one's sticking out holes along the bag. Oh, two things coming out, one at a time here. This is a kefir pear or kefir pear. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But when you order the pear, it says it's best to order two different varieties so they can pollinate better. So that goes with the other pear. This one, I'm guessing is the olive tree. This is, it's called the hardy olive. So it produces green olives. Um, it's got a bend right here. This is the tree. I don't know if I am supposed to plant it sideways to get that to grow straight up or how that's going to work. I'm going to have to do some research on that, but that's, this is one of the ones that they said grows in the greenhouse and takes um, six to eight weeks to grow in the greenhouse. So that's my olive tree. This is a dwarf Stella cherry tree. That's a really skinny little guy there. You can see that I really wanted a lot of variety in the, in the orchard. Oh, okay. Ranunculus. I think these are the free gift seeds. I think those are flowers. Okay, so this is the 25 strawberry plants I ordered. Ozark strawberry. I thought I was getting plants. Um, hmm, there's a rubber band around it and I see roots and kind of stems growing in there. Let's open this up and see if it separates. 
I'm really, really behind on planting if this is how my strawberries came. Okay, they've got a rubber band around them. They're in sand, it seems. Let's take the rubber band off. And this is kind of a bummer. Okay, so they split up, let's see, something like this. So maybe each little root bunch is considered a different plant. And then that will be my strawberries. I'm gonna have to get these in super fast. It is May, I don't know how long we're going to have in order to get these to grow low battery sign on my phone. This may in fact be everything in here in this one bag. Um, here's the rhubarbs I ordered. Three rhubarbs. I'm definitely a little bit disappointed. I was expecting plants. This is raspberry. This is the Encore raspberry. So I ordered a three pack and similar to the five in one trees, I ordered raspberries that were supposed to be an early, a middle, and a late variety so I could have raspberries throughout the season. And this is what I expected for raspberries, was a raspberry cane. I just planted my blackberries a couple weeks ago. I had seven blackberry canes. Okay, this eight garlic sets. They look like little sticks. That's interesting. I expected eight bulbs of garlic that were sprouting. I've never seen them in those little sticks there. But this is could be my novice knowledge. I just want you to have a realistic idea of what you're getting into so you're not surprised or disappointed. Um, and maybe it would affect the timing of when you order as well. This is an indoor juniper. So I did order this little guy here for my oldest son because he wants a bonsai. And I actually ordered it before his birthday thinking, you know, as a birthday gift. Well, here we are two months later. It definitely didn't make it in time. So I haven't even told him about it yet. But this little guy, he can grow indoors and it's supposed to stay small as a bonsai. That I think is perfect. Feel some more things in the bottom here. Um, something fell out of that empty bag. These are mini amaryllis bulbs. Those were a free gift that came with an order. This one's stuck out the holes of the bottom too. Okay, here's Nova Raspberry. So this is part of the three pack of raspberries. So there must be one more in here. Okay. Looks like a package of coupons or something. Here is a uh, planting handbook. Ground cherry tomato seed pack, another free gift. This is information about horseradish. I didn't order horseradish. I'm not aware of that being a free gift either. And this is a jumbo packet of tomato climbing trip L crop. So that must be another free seed packet that came with it. And as far as I can tell, that is all that was in the bag. I think that was my complete order. This was $235. Um, I believe shipping was around $10 for that. And um, I'll put down below if that was my complete order, everything I expected. So I have to say that had it not been so late in arriving, I would be happier if I had more time to get everything going. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed mostly by the strawberries because, well, they're not plants.
Um, the bare roots is fine. I just, it'd be nice if they included it in their description that they would arrive as bare root trees. Um, the olive definitely is not a bare root, but it's growing at this uh, nearly 90 degree angle there. Kind of. <laughs> um, so this is, this is interesting. It's a learning experience. I just wanted to share my experience. I hope it helps you um, know what to expect in the future when ordering from Burgess. I feel like they can improve their communication as well as their descriptions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see what all of this looks like when it is growing in the near future.